Welcome back guys to Our Homestead Life. Um, we're here in the uh, City Slicker Chicken Co. Chicken Pen. And it's been about a month since we told you about uh, these chickens getting attacked by the dogs over 4th of July weekend. And uh, this is the end of July now and we separated them out. Mrs. W kept them clean. She sprayed them uh, with the blue spray and kept everything good to go. They started growing feathers back. But unfortunately, one of our speckled, man, she's still getting bullied. All of her feathers she's grown back have started to disappear again. Hi, baby. So for a couple of weeks, we've noticed that she's been getting up on this rail and she's not getting out. She's just hanging out up there. Um, and I hadn't been paying real close attention. I probably should have. And um, to see why she's acting that way. Why is she trying to get away from everybody? Why is she trying to get up on the rail? Especially when the dogs are out after they went through that attack. And so after the past couple of days of just watching her, we see that she does have a little bit of a wound, some new fresh wounds open. And uh, those fresh feathers that have grown are gone. And so I think what it's time to do is clean her up, give her some blue spray, put her in the old coop and let her recoup for a couple of weeks, just by herself, no friends around and just let her get strong again. Let that feather grow back, let that patch grow back, get her that protection. So she's not being bullied and picked on over here anymore. She'll probably never be at the top of the pecking order. That's okay. I just don't want her to get pecked on anymore. So I'm gonna pick her up and uh, we'll show you what she looks like. It's okay. It's all right. See there's fresh marks there. And none of that was damaged before. So we're gonna get you cleaned up, girl. It's okay. We're gonna get you cleaned up. We're gonna get her cleaned up. We'll get her blue coated and we'll move her over to the other pen so that she can get stronger. Oh. <laughs> Once you make sure that this wound is clean, you use uh, this wound coat is what we're using. And uh, this stuff will stain your clothes and your skin, so be careful with it. Little back to school hair dye action for her. And that doesn't hurt them at all. It does put a little bit of protection on there and it's an antibiotic. Helps keep that thing nice and clean. So we're gonna get her set up in the other station. We are gonna put some uh, vitamins and uh, electrolytes in her water, give her her own food. And like I said, let her stay over there for a few weeks until she's back to being normal and strong. You gonna help us get the chicken ready? Trying to protect some of our grass and dirt there. That was a big old hole from. It's from the other boat. Yeah, but all those holes are from that one. <laughs> so we threw out some extra wire there to protect them holes. Let's get this water filled up. Throw in some vitamins and electrolytes, and we'll go from there. same vitamins we've been using with electrolytes. We won't give them the full amount because this is the only water she'll have in there, but we do just want to give her a supplement. So we got her some food and we've got her her water, the ramp's up. This is next to everybody, so she's not completely away from them. And so, all right, good girl, let's go to the hospital. So we're gonna get her closed in there. This is our little hospital. I thought about getting rid of it when we got the new one, but 
this is the reason why we're keeping it for for a while and uh, we may keep it indefinitely for this very reason because uh, it just gives us a place to separate them when we need to and unfortunately we've needed to twice now um, just to keep them healthy so she's gonna hang out in there for a couple of weeks until she gets nice and healthy chickens are very resilient guys I can't tell you enough how resilient these things are they're very strong they heal very well. You just have to make a little bit of an accommodation for them and they do very, very well for themselves. Um, they're great birds. Um, we're beyond happy with the ones that we have. This is our first batch to take from day old. Now they're five months old and we're extremely happy with them. So if you're doing that, just remember that if they get hurt, just make accommodations for them to heal and they will, they're resilient. They're gonna do fine. And don't worry guys, if you've only got something like this smaller um, house and not two of them, you can also use a kennel. Um, we used a dog kennel and we put her in the garage or put the wounded ones in the garage for a couple of weeks while they healed after the initial attack. So you don't necessarily have to have a setup like this. You can just use a dog kennel if you have it. We really expect these guys to be laying eggs in the next month or so um, because they are right around five months old now. And uh, our old lady, the real hateful one, she has been laying every other day or so. So that's good. Uh, we've been trying to keep them nice and cool. We've given them lots of shade. So the sun, it comes across this way all day long. It sets right over there. So it makes this trajectory. So between the hospital, the pallets in the corner, the metal roof, uh, and the way we've positioned this uh, trampoline, it gives them quite a bit of shade in here at least half the yard in shade all the time which is good and uh we're making sure we keep up with their water and keep up with their food and snacks and all that good stuff so they're staying um hydrated they're not overheating it's been plus 100 degrees for almost a month straight now and um i mean it's it's seven eight o'clock at night now and it's over 90 degrees right now but we want to make sure that we're taking care of them and uh, keeping them healthy, keeping them happy because happy chickens lay eggs. And that's what we want. That's why we got them. Um, they're entertainment for sure, but uh, also we want their eggs. Uh, that's part of living this, the homestead style life, the self-sustaining life. And so that's what we're doing. Now, if we can keep them happy, we can keep eggs coming. That old lady in there is over six years old and she's still laying eggs. So that's a big win. That's a big plus. Um, I think we're doing pretty well i think next time we're going to go inside and we're going to clean out all the inside we're going to build new mats for them to start laying on um so to ensure that none of the eggs are rolling rolling or cracking or anything like that and making sure they have a clean space to hang out in